Yeah? Can you step out and talk to us for a second, please? Why? We got an alarm out here. Okay. What that got to do with me? You're out here. What's good, everybody, and welcome back to the Lockout Man Podcast Show, the coolest podcast on the tube right now. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. I just want to go in and just jump right into the to what happened today, man. Today, Sunday. Usually, I don't I don't leave out on Sundays, but when your fleet manager says he needed something to get to a place. Yo, you you make it happen. You know what I'm saying? You make it happen. That's that's what you do. So, long day of driving. Uh, it only took me about eight hours to get down here. Straight drive, couple of stops. Uh, grab a couple of bite to eat, fuel up, and and made it down here to where I need to be. Um, for me and for other truck drivers alike, um, they they like to get to their place, post up, be ready to get unloaded before they even use some of their clock. They wanna they they wanna use their clock management the right way, and that's what I do. That's what I do. You know what I'm saying? I maximize my clock on a reel, right? So what I try to do, if possible, I try to come to the place where I got to unload and post up there so that I can be ready for them in the morning, all right? But sometimes it doesn't always be that way. It bees like, you know, at least I want to, at least if I'm not here, I want to get close to here, but tonight I am here. You know, usually what I do is when I when I get ready to go, I usually pre-trip. Well, of course you got to pre-trip, but trip plan, all right? So usually I trip plan to every place that I go. And in this particular place, I trip planned it. I looked, I brought, you know, brought it up on the map and I seen that it was a little warehouse in the back of the cut somewhere that I can park on the property and all like that i'm good to go it wasn't no gate you know it's not gated or anything like that so i was like yeah cool i'm good to go so let me stop off grab something to eat make sure i use the bathroom all that good stuff before i get here because i'm going to be here until i drop my load so i get here i post up lights now mind you lights on truck is still running you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm back here doing my thing, you know, doing the edits for the next videos and all like that. Lights on and everything. So I get a knock at the door. And, uh, you know, it's 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night. And I get a knock at the door. Now, mind you, <laughs> I'm, I'm at a place of business in the back, in the cut out of the way so i know it couldn't be you know no lot lizard knocking at my door and shit i know it ain't no crackhead knocking at my door so i go i raise down my window halfway and there's a cop yeah can you step out and talk to us for a second please why we got an alarm out here Okay, what that got to do with me? You're out here. Yeah, I've been in my truck all this time, so. Will you step out and talk to us, please? No. Will you give us your ID, please? Why do I need to give you my ID? Because we got a business alarm, and we need to identify you for being back here. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll give you my paperwork, but I don't give you my ID. Why would you not give us your ID? For what? I ain't do nothing wrong. That's why. You don't think it's kind of suspicious you're back here and we're getting a business alarm? 
I think it's because I got a delivery in the morning and I'm waiting until they open up in the morning. So have no, you I don't. Tried any of the door handles or anything like that? No, okay. I've been in my I've been in my truck all this time. Okay. Where are you delivering to? Right here. Okay. What is the name of that business? R I mean RPM Wood Finishing, 3815 North Main Street. Yeah, I'll see that. Are you gonna run the tag? Yeah. Appointment time is six o'clock in the morning. No, you good. And who's your who's your carrier? S Lee Transportation in Cleveland, I mean in here in Ohio. Okay. Everything you need to know is on the side of the truck. On its on its on the side of the okay. So right then and there, <laughs> um, he asked me, like, uh, can I get out of the truck to talk to him? And I'm going like, nah, bro. As you guys heard in the video, I'm like, nah. Can you come out of the truck and talk to us? Nah, bro. I mean, we're now mind you, we're in the back, in the cut. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Two officers, you know, nah, we, we, we not doing that. So he wanted me to give him my ID. We definitely not doing that. So as you guys heard, I, you know, I gave him the paperwork. Everything you need to know and where I need to be is right here on the paperwork. So, you know, he was asking me questions like, you know, did I get out of the truck and did I go over there try to, you know, shake on, knock on the door or whatever? Nah, what I need to do that for? You know, I've been in the truck all this time since I've been here. I didn't get out the truck or nothing, you know, even if I had to use the restroom, I, I use, <laughs> I use it inside the truck. I don't need to get out of the truck for nothing until six o'clock the next morning that's when i need to get out of the truck other than that i don't need to get my ass out of the truck for nothing and in this particular situation bruh i ain't even like i said it's dark back here there's no lights back here or, well there's you know lights off the building but yeah there's no lights and bro over here talking about yo you know can you come outside and talk with us? No, we can talk right here. Will you step out and talk to I'm good. We, 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 brother man oh. don't need to get out the truck to talk to you. I got I got you. I got the window halfway Why do I down. Need to give you my I ID? hear you, you hear me, and we can talk right there. So, you know, he asked me, you know, what was my company's name? Like, what? I'm not supposed to know my company name. So I gave him my company name and everything and he said, do you find it suspicious that you back here and the alarm going off? And I'm like, bro, I don't hear no alarm. I don't hear what? They got a silent alarm in there or something? I mean, usually when somebody try to break in, there's an alarm. Like, woo, 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 alarm. I don't hear shit. I don't know what you heard, but I don't hear nothing, bro. So... Yeah, that that was my night, man. I, look, like I said, I, I'm you know I'm not trying to get into no issues or nothing like that. But you know, you you guys probably do run up on stuff like this. You know, like there's a suspicious truck back there, is running, is you know they don't know why we're here and all like that. But I'm in I'm I'm in an industrial area though. I mean, there's trucks and trailers all up and down this area where I'm at. So I'm in an industrial area. So I, I mean, I wouldn't understand why they wouldn't know that if a truck is here, 
obviously we're here, you know, for a delivery or something like that. So, yeah, man, that look, that was my night. Yo, let me know in the comments below if that ever happened to you. If you was in a, if you was at a receiver, you know, more likely of a receiver. You know, you get to a receiver, you post up in the parking lot, you wait until your appointment time, which is the next morning. You know, let me know how you guys how you guys do it. All right. Let me know in the comments below. If you like videos like this and more, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want more content like this, man, yo, know, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. I want to shout out to everybody that supports the channel. My girl, Shannon, you is the girl. Like I said, thank you so, so much for supporting your boy. All right. Until next time, everybody, man, just stay safe out there. And for real, for real, if I always say, always have your credentials ready. But in this particular situation, no. Because, see, if I would have gave him my license, then that would have forced me to get out of the truck. And then anything liable to happen. You know, any anything would have liable to happen to me. And I'm not trying to, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to get into any situations that, you know, that that's going to involve me getting whatever. <laughs> I'll just say it. I'll just say it. So early the next morning. What's up, man? How are you? There you go. What hey, you got good. for us this morning? Let me ask you a question. Okay. Did your alarm go off last night? Y'all, your, your alarm didn't go off at all last night. Not that I know of. I hadn't heard it. No. So let me ask you this: If your alarm goes off, don't don't it make a sound outside too? Now, to be honest with you, I've never been here when it went off, so I don't know what happened. Yeah, the cops come by last night. What are you talking about? That they they came by because the alarm was going off. It didn't show anything this morning when I came in, so I don't know. What time was that? It's about like 10.30 or yeah, about 10.30 last night. Yeah? Yeah. What did they do? Just leave? Yeah, they was going to leave. They asked me to get out of the truck. I was like, no, I'm not doing that. Oh, really? I asked to get out of the truck? Yeah. I told him, no, I'm not doing that, bro. <laughs> He was like, he was like, well, do you find it suspicious that you back here and the alarm going off? I was like, well, I don't hear no alarm. And number two, I got a, I, I got a drop here in the morning. Yeah. So. Hmm. Yeah, well, I've never had any problem with the police or anything. I was in a negative sense around here. And you got that PK 117 out there. Mm-hmm. Okay. If you want to back in the door one right here, we'll get you.